Well, hey, thanks for stopping in today. I'd like to thank the good folks over at Genie for supplying this universal keypad. If you're here, you're wanting to know about this keypad. Stick around. I'll show you how to program it. All right, so right there you got the model number. Control up to three garage door openers. It's compatible with most major brands of garage door openers. See the list right there. So if you have one of those, then you're in luck. Word up. All right, so let's pull this thing out of the box. So let's get an overview of the buttons. We have the program button right here. Below it, you have the LED light. And then you have your number pad. And then you have your up and down arrows. So first thing you're going to want to do is take the cover, pull this guy off, pull the lid off, and you're going to pull this tab. Let's pull this out of there. Fire in the hole. Push it back down in the battery, and let's put our cover back on, our lid. Boom. Now we're ready to go. Okay, so now that we got the keypad unboxed and you're familiar with the buttons, uh, what I recommend next is go to your garage door opener and locate the learn smart button. So let's go to mine and I'll show you where my learn smart button is. All right, so I have a genie garage door opener. So how to find the learn button, you know, typically wherever the antenna is hanging out of the machine, your learn button's not gonna be too far away from it. So mine is right up here. Open this little compartment. So my learn button is that square button right there. It says program set. On most of your newer Genie stuff, it's gonna be labeled program set button. So if you have a Chamberlain LiftMaster or a Sears product, that learn button is gonna be located on the back side of the machine. Typically you gotta take down the lid, the cover, to expose that square button. Here's the antenna, so if I follow the antenna up, the antenna is right under there, so that antenna is not too far away from the learn button. That's what your learn button is going to look like on a LiftMaster Chamberlain or a Craftsman. If you have a newer Chamberlain LiftMaster or Craftsman, that yellow circle button is going to be your learn button. Okay, so now that you located the learn smart button or your program set button, now we can continue on with the keypad and get it set up. Okay, now the first step we want to do is we want to clear the keypad. This is your first step that you're going to do. And how you do that is you press the program and the arrow buttons at the same time and hold. You're going to hear a beep. There you go. Now it's cleared out. You've seen that green light flash on and off. So now we're ready to program this thing. Once you, so once you have your keypad cleared out, the next thing you're going to want to do is find the ID for your garage door opener. If you have a Genie or overhead door brand, you can see the ID is the same. Well, that's because they're both the same brand. And if you come down here, the Chamberlain LiftMaster Craftsman, they're grouped together because those machines are pretty much the same thing. So if you have like a newer Genie that was just installed or it's not that old, more than likely your ID is going to be number one. If it's an older Genie, then you're going to look at the ID number six. But regardless, if you're programming your keypad and you use the ID number one and it does not work, just clear the memory out again and use ID number six. It's as easy as that. Or if you have a Chamberlain LiftMaster Craftsman, you're going to see over here, you'll have either a purple, orange, red, or a yellow, or an old green button. And your ID is going to be right here for those. Uh, so that's an important number that you're going to have to know. All right, so I have a newer Genie. So my ID is going to be number one. What we want to do is come to our keypad. Okay, now that we know where the learn button is, we know what our ID is. So let's go ahead and take the keypad a little closer to the machine and let's program this thing. So now we're right here, we're pretty close to the unit, so it's going to make the steps go a little quicker. So here we go, let's program this thing. So you want to use a three to eight digit code. I'm going to use a simple one, two, three, four. Press the up and down arrows. 
green light's going to flash slow. Enter your ID, which is number one. Press the up and down arrows. It's going to flash fast like that. Now we want to take our program set, smart learn button, press it in, blue light comes on, let go. Now it's a purple flashing. Now what we want to do is press the up and down arrows until the door starts to move. So there's one, two, three. There we go. So there it is. The door is moving right now. So an important step, you want to let it run until it totally shuts off, opened or closed. It's going to shut off in a minute, guys. What's it going to do? It's going to shut off definitely in like 20 minutes. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try this out. Let's enter our code. One, One two, three, two, four. Oh. Enter. Which is the up and down arrow keys. Yee! That's how you program this universal keyless entry. Hey, if you have any questions, please comment, ask, hit that like button. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, Jeannie, for sending this universal keypad. Keep up the good work. Peace out, guys.